In this video, we have a discrete probability distribution, and what we need to find is var of x, var of 8x plus 2, and var of 7 take away 6x. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is find var of x, and in order to do that, we're going to need e of x and e of x squared. So, e of x is going to be 5 times 0 0.8 plus 6 times 0 0.15 plus 7 lots of 0 0.05. Okay, so 5 lots of 0 0.8 plus 6 lots of 0 0.15 plus 7 lots of 0 0.05. And we get 5.25. Now e of x squared will be 5 squared times 0 0.8 plus 6 squared times 0 0.15 plus 7 squared times 0 0.05. So 25 times 0 0.8 plus 36 times 0 0.15 plus 49 times 0 0.05. And we get 27.85. So that means that var of x is equal to 27.85. So e of x squared. Take away e of x all squared. So 5.25 squared. And we get 0 0.2875. Okay, so that's var of x. Now we want var of 8x plus 2. Now the long-winded way would be to uh, substitute 5, 6, and 7 into here, uh, and then work out e of x and e of x squared again from that. I don't want to have to do that. So we learned last time, in the last video, that var of ax plus b is equal to a squared times var of x. So the plus b that you have there doesn't make any difference, so you can completely ignore that. And the coefficient of x gets squared. Okay, so a gets a becomes a squared there. So in this, we have plus 2, you can ignore that. And the 8 gets squared, so we'll have 8 squared times 0 0.2875. So we get 18.4. Now for var of 7 take away 6x, we've got this plus 7 in there. So just like the plus 2, we can ignore that. That's gone. Now the coefficient of x here is minus 6. So we're going to have minus 6 squared times the 0.2875. So 36 times 0.2875, and we get 10.35. Okay, so that's how we can find var of 8x plus 2, or var of 7 take away 6x, given the value of var of x.